Bob Knight has passed away at the age of 83. Uh, a tremendous coach, a tremendous coach. And I want to just start by asking you guys, and, and I'll ask Brett first, and then you guys chime in afterward because Brett's dad was a high school coach. Could you have seen yourself playing for someone like Bobby Knight? That's absolutely. Um, I, didn't, I never particularly liked being chewed out, whether it be my dad or any other coach. But I, I got it. You know, I, I, you know, it was okay. I think we need more of that uh, Bobby Knight today. Uh, my, my college coach for three years, Curly Hallman, was the meanest man I've ever met. <laughs> uh, he, had, he had a speed bag every day after practice. I think he did, and he was good. I think he did it just to, to intimidate the guys. And he was a hard ass. But, but I loved him. Uh, he was a disciplined guy. My dad was a very disciplined guy. My dad was very short on attaboys and very long on you can do better. Or I'm going to bust your ass. Um, and it motivated me. You know, you weed out the weak. Um, exactly. And, 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 and I, in today's world. You would, Marshall, you would like. Cause oh, I, 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 play, I played for many of Bobby Knights. That's, that's, that's the era of. It, when it was okay for a coach to to tell you do as I as I say not as I not do, as I do. Yeah. <laughs> that was okay. That was it was okay for now a coach you got to toe the same line as the players. They expect you to run through the same wall if you're a coach. But um, I, I played for many of Bobby Knights. It's it's just the respect yeah. that you, you you had to maintain that respect for your coach and for elders. And regardless regardless if they were wrong. You know, the neighborhood policed us. It was like, you got, if, if somebody's parent down the street told you something, you had to listen just like it was your parent. So that went for coaches too. It wasn't your mom was going, don't tell my kid, don't parent my kid. That's that's today's new world. Yeah, you know, yeah. the neighborhood kind of raised us in a sense. And you had to respect everybody if they were yeah. your elder and any coach. Yeah. Uh, my high school coach, listen, man, we, it was, old. My, my mom told my coach, listen, if he get out of line, yeah. You can whip him. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like the hell with just yeah. grabbing your face yeah. mask. You can whip him yeah. if he get out of line. So so when your parent does that and give an adult that authority over you, that authority that you need and in the, in, in the ability to respect that authority. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, Bobby Knight, I, I don't agree with his, 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 his antics and stuff like that, but I understand him. And and, and we all came from that. We yeah. all came from yeah. that. That's yeah. what I was back in the day. Coach. Yeah. You don't... You, you don't want that slack. You don't want that. Ah, you know, it'll be all right. You'll get it. Because a lot of people know what to do, but very few people do what they know. And especially in a football uh, team environment, you got to be on your P's and Q's. I'm, you yell all you want, but I'm finna go handle this job and then just sleep under the very blanket of security I provide. And don't question the manner in which I do so. That's all I say. But coach me hard. Be on me if I make a mistake, because that's what I want. And great players, I. I always wanted that. Don't let me slide with nothing. Cause I wanna I wanna try to play the perfect game. I know I can't, but I can trample excellence on the way though. Same way. I wanna I wanna be coached hard. You know, I didn't like when I didn't, when I was young, I didn't like it. I had a college coach who was kind of a dick, but looking back, it helped me become a better football player and learn to deal with coaches like that. But I wanna be told what to do. I wanna know the difference between like if I step here, I, you know, I want to know the difference between right and wrong right away. Uh, there's, there shouldn't be any play where I have a question what I'm supposed to do on. And there never, most of my career, there wasn't. I played for coaches who knew, who told you exactly what to do every play. And if you did it, you were fine. If you didn't, you had a problem. That's the way it should be. You know, yeah. should, they should be able to tell you when you screw up and get on you when you mess up. That's what we've lost do, these do days. Do you think it's easier for y'all to say that because you were such great players? Mm -hmm. Let's say if you awesome. were a little bit lower no. down the totem pole, <laughs> Is it harder to deal with? Y'all not gonna make too many mistakes, Chase, so Bobby Knight's not Chase, gonna yell at y'all that often. That's, that's not true. I, I like I'm the player I am because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you learned. It, yeah, it, it was, it yeah. was, it yeah. was, because you, 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 you're gonna mess up. Things are gonna happen. Yep. Like we, we try to. You're not. The, the team will make the least amount of mistakes as the team will win. Everybody, because yep. we're gonna make mistakes. Yes, yeah. It, it's, it's not about making mistakes. It's, it's like. What what's going to make you make that mistake? Are you lazy? Are you tired? Are you are mm -hmm. you not disciplined? So understanding, man, coach, I, I don't want to hear coaches. Now I'm gonna do it right the first time. <laughs> that that drives you, and then pretty soon you just become accustomed to doing it right. 
A lot of kids. No other way but to do it. Right. A lot of kids don't have that. In today, listen. In today's world, you get a trophy for participating. Yes. Part of, part of, and and again, I'm asking this blind. I I know Brett's situation because he talks about his dad a lot. Did y'all have dads in your life? Because what I see a lot of times is guys that didn't have dads in their life. They can't handle what a Bobby Knight brings to the table. Oh, I, I, yeah, my, my father was in my life and, and, and my, in, in, although he was in my life, my mother ran it. Like my, my, my mom was the, was the, yeah. was the, I'll rip your arm off and beat yep. you with it type yeah. of woman. That's like, what my mom was. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I have a stepdad, but my mom, I was scared of my mom when I was my dad. Yeah, my, my dad laughed at it. Yeah. You know, it's like, I, I, I never, my dad never had to, my mom was like, if I got to take off work and come to school because you messed up, oh, you don't, you're not going to yep. like how I come to school. So it, it was that it was that type of environment. A lot of discipline. A lot of, oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of no discipline. no question that she yeah. was more and willing and able to do so. Yeah. Oh, Sap, I know you, you and, and you got a son that's in the game. Yeah. So I know, and I know you're still around these young kids and so are you, but... Am I right in thinking this younger generation couldn't handle a Bobby Knight? No, you know, no, no, no. I'm like, Go ahead. Yeah. I had a conversation with a defensive coordinator. Sap's going to – you got to make sure That's you okay. over I, I can't wait to listen today. I can't wait to listen. I got you. This one here threw me off. Yeah. I was talking to an NFL defensive coordinator the other day because I was watching the tape, and I said, you know what, the, what, what's going on? He's like, are you crazy? He said, man, if you tell these kids the truth, yeah. you'll see them tomorrow. They have a green jersey on and the – Dr. Reynolds is in your office asking you what did you say to this man? I'm like, shut up. I'm like, they will go tell the psychiatrist on you now? Wow. Yes. I said, I'm done. Wow. I said, I'm done. A psychiatrist? What do you? I mean, yeah, you know, so, I got mental problems. You oh, man. The truth that I'm not good enough to do my job. So, from what I've seen with my son, uh, their coach is old school at where he goes to high school. So, they, uh, they get a lot of Bobby Knight. At his school, which I love, because yeah. I'm, so I'm glad he. Chose That's the legal school. today. It's not. It's not Bobby Knight. It's not as bad as Bobby Knight, but the kids don't say anything. They they deal with it. And they move on. They're a good football pro- program because of it. They have some good young men come out of that program as well. But I, I appreciate the way he coaches them, and I think my son does as well. He likes being coached like that, and he comes home and he, he behaves. He doesn't, you know, he goes there. He better behave at home. But he's a nice young man, and he listens to what his coaches have to say. He likes being coached hard. If the, the the parents here's what you, and, and I think about this like the kids who can't take it their parents were the ones who didn't make it in our era those parents that that didn't make it that felt like the reason why they didn't play was because that coach did it their kids are the ones who cannot deal with the Bobby Knight they can't deal with reality yeah yeah I, agree. False I think you know it's a soft generation and in, in, in general. And I think a, a lot of the blame should be the parents or parent, our, which is which is our age. Yeah, no, I definitely think yeah. we blew it. And it's, you know, it's hard, they're, they're, give, they're telling, <laughs> it is hard. They're telling it is hard, their kids man. excuses. Yeah, it's going to be all right. they're, they're, you know, they're, they're t- taking up for their kids. I'm not, you know, Bobby and I would choke someone. I'm not saying that, that needs to be done, but there's a level of discipline that's that's missing. I remember Mike Holmgren, the first team meeting, really didn't know what to think. He he talked about logistical stuff, you know, getting over to practice from St. Norbert College, you know, all this stuff. And at some point, he said, "I want you, every one of you, to remember one thing: I'm not your friend." Mm. And I, I'm thinking, why in the hell would he say that? There's got to be a level of discipline and where you stand on the totem pole. And I, and today, Belichick's probably, and Andy are last of a dying breed, where you just don't, some of these coaches, I'm sure players just walk in the office, man, what's up, what's up, you know? I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm just saying that's the way it is now. And then when you jump off sides, because you forgot to snap count, you know, you you wonder. I mean, Holmgren would stop practice and rip your ass if you jumped off sides. And I'm sure with Warren and, and Brian yeah. and Marshall, the same way. That yeah, there's coaches. examples of that. The little things will you'll lose, 
because of the little things. And when you let the little things go, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in the game. We'll get it right. Then you're in trouble. Yeah. yeah. And as a player, the good players have enough discipline, and maybe not, I mean, I, I was undisciplined, as, but I worked hard. <laughs> but I needed to be coached hard to rein me in. I didn't particularly like it at times, but I understood it and, and, and respected, which Marshall was dead on. Respect, whether it be on the field or off the field. So two, two, two other coaches I got to put in there. Um, Mike Tomlin. Tomlin. I was going to say the, the same the thing. The respect that, sh- that that he had. And Pete Carroll. Pete, Pete, will get, Pete, Pete will get rid of you. If you don't like, you don't, oh, Russ, you don't want to be here? Bye. You wanna, yeah. Okay. You want to yeah. compete? Bye. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah. it's Pete, Pete Carroll. Like, you, you don't get as, and, and he's about as old school. And, and I've never, I, I've, I've heard very few players talk bad about Pete that, that played well for Pete. Yeah. If you compete for him, yeah. You love him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 